Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Low Pro Alien Gear Belly Band. If you're not new to my channel, then you probably know exactly how I feel about belly bands, but a lot of you have actually commented and recommended that I try this specific belly band because it has uh, trigger protection and potentially gives you the option to holster safely, which are my main complaints with normal belly bands. So let's get right into this review. So the first thing that I did when I got this holster in was of course try to put my Glock 42 into this custom molded Kydex shell. And I noticed that I actually could not holster it on the setting that it was on. And luckily Alien Gear actually sends you a couple of different spacers that you can replace right in the center here to adjust your retention. They also send you a handy dandy little tool to undo these screws here and change out the retention as needed. My spacers were already set to the second lowest level of retention on this and I wasn't able to actually holster my gun. Immediately, can you see that? Puts my gun out of battery. So I had to up it to the loosest form of retention for this. And I'm still getting really good retention even on this highest setting here. So once I got my retention settings kind of all dialed in here and I was able to actually holster my gun appropriately, I went ahead and threw this on and started kind of seeing what it was like to draw from it as well as what the concealment looked like. Okay, we just got caught up on the grip. There we go. So in order to clear the shirt around the grip, I'm having to pull up and over to the right because it wants to, my shirt wants to hang up on that grip pretty much every time because it's on the curve of my body. One of the first things that I noticed when I went to actually draw from this holster is how totally weird the angle is. And that might be just because I'm entirely used to drawing from a completely upright holster. Um, but it was just a really weird feeling and it took me a minute to even really be able to find my grip um, when I went to draw just because it was in a really unusual place. The next thing that I considered was how this holster would work in a class setting. And it was pretty clear that anytime that you go to draw from this holster, if you're standing straight towards your target, you're going to be flagging everyone to the left. So if you're planning on taking this holster to a class that there's going to be a live shooting portion, don't do it because you're going to be flagging everyone to the left unless you turn your support side towards your target and actually draw this way and towards your target. I wanna quickly mention that this is a Glock 48 blue gun, not a 42, which is what this Alien Gear Belly Band is made to take as the 42. Um, I just wanted to be able to demonstrate how it looks to flag someone with the belly band um, with a completely inert gun. So I'm using my 48 blue gun. So please use your imagination. I just wanted to show you guys how this would actually work on like a firing line in a class or something. Um, I'm using a blue gun here, blue gun, blue gun. If I go to draw from this, I'm just about pointing directly at the person to my left, especially so if I'm carrying just slightly over to the right here, this muzzle is pointed directly at my wonderful husband here. So if I go to draw this, I'm flagging the entire line to my left. Just to grab this from another angle so you guys can really see how this is pointed directly at the people to my left. Because the shell does not have kydex on both sides of it, there's nothing preventing the gun from actually wiggling up and down inside the holster. And I find this concerning when I consider the thought of actually picking up a toddler and the possibility of them putting their foot down on the grip of the gun and actually kicking it down and out of the holster. The reason that normal belly bands don't conceal well is because the band itself conforms to our body while this brick-like object just sits there in the pocket and doesn't articulate on the actual curves and valleys of our body. The first thing that I noticed when I put this on was how unbelievably terribly it concealed. And when I do reviews, I like to share with you guys some of the positive things that I got out of a product, even if I didn't like the product overall. So I do wanna mention that I found that this material on the band, this neoprene kind of stretchy material was comfortable for me and I could see myself wearing it for a long period of time but the concealment results were just so terrible that it wasn't something I was willing to wear out in public or really would have had any success concealing in. It's pretty clear to me that this belly band comes with the same concealment issues that a normal belly band would come with. It just has a kydex shell added on the outside of it. 
So the entire band that's close to my body is articulating to my body, but the fixed brick-like object is not at all doing that. And there's no features on this belly band to actually make the grip or the muzzle or the slide or any of that actually articulate close to my body to offer optimal concealment. Here's just one more angle of me sitting down. You can actually see just how far the grip is off of my actual body. And if I push the grip in, you can just see how much easier it would be for me to conceal this. Really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys what this concealment looks like in the flowiest top in my closet. When you look straight on, it doesn't seem like there's any, anything there, but when you see me start to move, you'll notice that there's this really sharp edge of a grip right here. You can also clearly see the grip from the top down view. Even as I move, it kind of just looks like I have a bit of a brick on my front. I just wanted to show you what the concealment looks like with a bit of a larger gun in just a normal belt and JM Custom Kydex holster. Um, just kind of tipping my hips out and moving around. You're not seeing any sharp corners. I have a bit of a tummy when I lean forward like this, but no sharp corners. And I'm carrying a Beretta 92. And just as a quick size comparison here, I was able to conceal my Beretta 92 in a quality Kydex holster attached to a belt better than I was able to conceal my tiny little Glock 42 in the Alien Gear belly band. Thank you to everyone who encouraged me to buy this product and to review it. Although I think that it's probably safer than a traditional belly band without a trigger guard, I definitely had a lot of issues with concealment and I hope that you guys got a really good understanding for why this is definitely not a product I would recommend. Thanks for watching today's video and supporting the channel and I'll see you guys in my next one.